Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL Source Control video, where we'll show you one of the additional options specifically related to the shared development model, database policies. As a starting point for this video, we've linked a database to a subversion repository using the shared model from two different machines and performed an initial commit from one machine. The Action Center tab shows no differences on both machines. The Database Policies feature allows implementing a more structured development methodology by forcing developers to perform checkout or lock operations prior to editing any object. In that way, the rest of the team is informed that an object will be edited. Since checking out and locking will change the icon of the particular object in Object Explorer on all machines. As a result, this prevents overriding changes. Database policies can be set in the Apex SQL Source Control Options form in the Administrator section. By default, the Optional policy is set, which means that database objects can be edited without checking out or locking. Just to clarify, checkout and lock can be performed at any point, but when the Optional policy is set, these steps aren't required or enforced. Let's change the policy from Optional to Permissive and see what happens when editing an object. Now, when the permissive policy is set, an object must be checked out before editing. Let's try to modify the object that is not checked out using the following SQL script. Executing the script gives an error because the permissive policy is enabled for this database, which means that each object must be checked out before editing. By following the instructions from the error message, let's check out the customer's table and try to execute the same script after that. To check out an object, right-click on it and select the Check Out command from the Apex SQL Source Control context menu. Right after checking out the customer's table, let's try to execute the same script. This time, the script will execute successfully. Note that when the permissive policy is set, the checkout operation is mandatory. However, the lock operation can be performed as well, because locking an object will automatically check out the same object. Let's lock an object, for example, the orders table, while the permissive policy is active. Let's try to modify the locked object, while the add-in requires just the checkout operation to be performed, using the following script. The script executed successfully, so it is up to the user if an object will be checked out or locked. Note that a checkout can be overridden by another developer. In order to prevent this, an object must be locked. To make the lock operation mandatory before editing any object, the restrictive policy should be set. Let's change that in Apex SQL Source Control Options and try to make some changes in a database. We'll execute another script without checking out or locking an object. As shown in the results section, the script execution failed because the object must be locked before editing. Let's lock an object and execute the script again. To lock an object, use the right-click context menu. After an object is locked, executing the same script will be successful. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.